Welcome to astronomy from your friends at Chmuck. All right, well, since mankind's humble beginnings, we have always asked ourselves the big questions. Who are we? What are we doing here? What's the meaning of life? And why is that woolly mammoth chasing me? Well, if you put yourself in early man's shoes, or sandals, or strips of tree bark, or whatever they were putting on their feet back in those days, Nike swoosh on it regardless, the world had to be a scary, confusing place. That endless dark sky above, tiny pinpricks of light everywhere, objects streaking by overhead, a big ball of heat that comes and goes as it pleases every roughly 24 hours now. Well, for millions of years, humans gazed upward and uh, wondered. But it wasn't until a few hundred years ago that we actually started making some headway in the quest to understand it all. The Renaissance wasn't just about pretty paintings on ceilings and wild-haired composers. The smell, oh goodness, the smells. Well, there were some awfully brilliant-minded thinkers and scientists who sprouted up during this time, including our first serious astronomers. These guys were the first to take the brave stance that, uh, hey, maybe the Earth isn't the center of the universe. It, of course, as we all know today, the actual center of the universe is Kanye West. As technology has progressed, we've been able to do things that would have been unthinkable to astronomy's forefathers. Trips to the moon, land rovers, the International Space Station, movie Gravity. Each of these would have blown their minds, and that was all CGI. Well, the breadth of everything covered by astronomy is nearly as vast as space itself, but basically it's anything that has something to do with mankind's place in the great limitless expanse of space. It includes investigating the origins of our universe, physical exploration of the uh, final frontier, not with these guys, observation of astronomical objects from afar with the use of high-tech equipment, and the trouble, and the attempt to draw conclusions from our data that helps solidify our understanding of how all the pieces fit together. Well, ever since our species became a bunch of star nerds, we've discovered some fascinating stuff, like the fact that a handful of our planets are just big gaseous blobs. We don't mean congressmen. And that everything on Earth, including ourselves, is made from what used to be uh, bits of stars. And how easy it is to fall asleep during a planetarium presentation. <laughs> Wake up, guys. It's actually really cool stuff. But what are we specifically going to learn in this course? Well, man, you should do well in astronomy if you're this into the specifics. We'll start with local. Well, we'll delve into the secrets hidden in our own solar system, how it came to exist, what makes a planet a planet and not a mere asteroid? What materials different planets are composed of? And why and whether or not the moon is really made of cheese, sponsored by Kraft. Hint, it's been up there for billions of years and hasn't gotten green and moldy, so well, yeah. Next, we'll expand outward and explore the stars in the great beyond. We'll get into spectroscopy, which is fortunately not something involving a camera being shoved up an orifice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't go there. It happens when you're 50. It's not pretty. How stars are named and organized, and where our galaxy fits into the grand scheme of things. Then we'll put it back to Earth a bit and cover all those crazy high-powered telescopes and other technological devices, how they were invented, how they work, and why they should under no circumstances be used to fry ants. We'll examine that glorious intersection between astronomy and math. Please, the expression on your face is thanks enough. But without math, we wouldn't be able to determine how heavy astronomical objects are, how far away they are from each other, how old our universe is, and other fun water cooler topics in that vein. Finally, we'll ask some of the questions that haven't been answered yet. What mysteries are astronomers still trying to wrap their oversized brains around? What lies beyond our universe? Is E.T. out there somewhere? If so, is he now trying to text home? I like that. How's that for an E.T. impression? All right, while you may never strap on a spacesuit and hitch a ride on a shuttle personally, the great unknown is something that interests all of us, and the pursuit of knowledge within the realm of astronomy is one we can all uh, get behind. Because every galaxy, every star, and every planet holds mysteries just waiting to be uncovered. Uh, except Pluto. Ever since he lost his planet status, he's just been a little guarded. We understand. Okay. Okay. Subscribe to check out more equally fantabulous videos. You should see the subscribe button just below this one. If you're having trouble locating it, we recommend you watch our video, How to Find the Subscribe Button.